Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Ramadan Daily. So today we are finally filming the SPF video. SPFs for women of color. I feel like I've held off on this video for so long, but I was just waiting on a couple things to line up and they finally have. So here we are, we're gonna chat all about sunscreen. Now, before I get into this, I just wanna preface that no, I am not a dermatologist. Everything that I've learned about skincare has been personally experienced, um, just my own personal research. I'm very passionate about skincare and SPF, so I just want to help my sisters and brothers out, okay? Make sure your skin stays smooth and glowing dark spot free, all that good stuff, and SPF will definitely do that for you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. If you do, I would love and appreciate if you join the fam by just clicking the subscribe button below. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So this isn't actually the first time that I'm talking about sunscreens for women of color. I actually did a video very similar to this back in 2018. I still really love that video, but one, uh, a lot of the <laughs> products that I used in that video are now discontinued and two, basically none of them were clean. And in the past two years, I've really just been doing some more research on clean sunscreens, sunscreens that are safe for your skin, but also safe for the environment. And I am happy to say that pretty much 90% of the sunscreens that I'll be talking today are clean, except for like one, I think, maybe one or two. And also what's different about that video is that I really bagged on physical sunscreens, but I feel like they've really had a glow up in the past two years. Um, but before I actually get into sharing all of the SPFs that I have for you guys, I kind of just want to quickly chat about why it's important to wear SPF. I kind of debunked in that first video that yes, women of color do have to wear SPF. It does not matter the fact that we have deeper skin. Yes, technically our skin is less susceptible to burning from the sun, but that does not mean that we will not burn. It will just take a lot longer for our skin to burn uh, versus you know someone with paler skin skin or lighter skin. Also, I always get questions about my hyperpigmentation and what products really helped to get rid of my hyperpigmentation. And while there are a lot of products that definitely have helped, that is a separate video, I feel like the one thing that had I not in introduced this into my life, into my skincare routine, I wouldn't have seen a difference and that is SPF because it is so important to wear sunscreen so that when you're out in the sun, your skin doesn't, you know, the dark spots on your skin don't get darker. If you have any scars or anything, they're only gonna get darker from the sun's rays because that is what our glorious sun does to us. So um, wear your sunscreen girls and boys. Um, and then also I wanted to kind of just explain the difference between chemical and physical sunscreens. So chemical sunscreens actually absorb the UV sun rays into the skin, um, transfer them to heat, and then that heat gets emitted out of the skin and kind of dispersed. So that's the main sun protection. Whereas physical sunscreens actually lay on top of the skin and it reflects the sun rays. So nothing actually gets absorbed, um, which is why a lot of the times people actually say that physical sunscreens are a little better. But to be honest, both are fine as long as you're using SPF over 30. Um, that's what dermatologists recommend. However, many people do say that physical sunscreens are better only because they're less irritating to the skin than chemical sunscreens are. And also some people feel weird about the fact that, you know, chemical sunscreens have to transmit the heat out of your skin still. So the UV rays technically still go into the skin. Um, however, both are still gonna give you protection. So if you want, sometimes I do this, especially when I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outdoors, I'll put a uh, chemical sunscreen on first and then a physical one on top. I don't know if that's like recommended, but I do that um, just to ensure like maximum protection when I know I'm gonna be out in the sun a lot. So I actually preferred chemical sunscreens over physical sunscreens for a long time because I could never find one that wouldn't give me a purpley white cast. Uh, now that has changed now, but another reason why I really liked chemical sunscreens was because it absorbs really beautifully into the skin. It kind of just smooths out, especially if you're wearing makeup or anything, it's just a really nice smooth canvas. Um, however, there is an ingredient that appears in a lot of chemical sunscreens. I think they're starting to now take them out of majority of them, but it is oxybenzone. I used a lot 
of chemical sunscreens that had oxybenzone and it's actually not very safe for the skin or for the environment so it's a hormone disturber which means it can create an imbalance in your hormone in, in your hormones hormones why can't i say that word um so it can actually lead to coral leaf bleaching which really sucks um, and that's just through you know when you rinse it off at the end of the day that goes back into our oceans so there's many reasons not to use that which is why i think it's so important to use clean spfs not only for your own personal health but of course to help the environment because it is something that we're wearing every single day and washing off every single day now on to physical sunscreens so the main active ingredient in physical sunscreens is usually zinc oxide sometimes paired with titanium dioxide and that's kind of what gives you the white cast because it is a mineral sunscreen so it really is reflecting the sun off which is why you kind of get a tint however some of the products that i'm going to show you today don't have as bad of a tint which makes me very happy and it's kind of a reason why I've kind of switched to more physical sunscreens for every day. One thing that I do want to note about zinc oxide though is there's two different types. So there's nano zinc oxide or non nano zinc. And basically there's not much research that proves that nano zinc is like very harmful for the skin. However, the particles are a lot smaller and could absorb into your skin, into your bloodstream, etc. Um, whereas non nano zinc, um, the particles are a lot bigger, but the particles don't get absorbed into your skin. It stays up top of the skin. So I'm sorry that was really long but <laughs> let's finally get into the products so the first couple products that i have to share are actually all by super goop um, in terms of chemical sunscreen super goop is my favorite spf brand i feel like they do um, chemical spfs the best they have so much variety um, whether you want to use it as a makeup primer or just an everyday sunscreen and they're all clean so that makes me feel very good about putting it on my face and also washing it off at the end of the day i have a couple here i'll start with the primer ones so this is the unseen sunscreen by super goop it looks like this this is probably their number one bestseller because it goes on complete <laughs> it goes on completely clear so as you can see it comes out in like a gel consistency and the texture of this really reminds me of like a makeup primer because it goes on completely smooth, completely clear, and it kind of has a blurring effect to the skin. So this is really nice to wear even when I'm not wearing any makeup. It just leaves a beautiful finish onto the skin and you can see it's completely clear as well. I'm not applying it to my entire face because I'm going to save the other parts of my face for the other uh, sunscreen so I can save a little time. And this one actually has SPF 40. And something that I forgot to mention is that chemical sunscreens are best for people who are doing a lot of water activities if you are someone who sweats a lot you'll probably want to use a chemical sunscreen because it doesn't come off as easy as a physical sunscreen does they also have another spf that is kind of like a makeup primer base i actually have an entire video on this so if you guys want to see that i will link it right over here for you and you can see a swatch of this and everything but i will give you guys just a little bit of a swatch this one actually has a little bit of a tint um as you can see so it comes out kind of like that almost like a liquid highlighter um, but once you put it on and blend it out, it just leaves a beautiful sheen on the skin without a white cast. This one I've actually been wearing a lot during the quarantine because it kind of looks like you're wearing makeup once you blend it all out. It leaves a beautiful just glow on the skin, which is really nice. Plus it also has SPF 40. What's great about the glow screen though is it actually has niacinamide and a couple of other properties in it that actually help with acne prone skin. Um, so it kind of combats the fact that chemical SPFs can sometimes be irritating. So this one might be a good one to try out. Now I saved my favorite super goop product for last. This is their play um, everyday lotion. This one has SPF 50. It's also a chemical sunscreen. However, I really like this because you can use it both on the face and the body. Um, it's just a white clear one. It's not really meant for like makeup base. It's kind of just your average chemical SPF for every day, which is why it's called everyday play and it blends out completely sheer as you can see i will put it on my face though because i know people are gonna be like but she didn't put it on her face um also i'm not using the recommended amount by the way the recommended amount for spfs are usually about i think a dime or a quarter size amount so on my everyday i do use that much for my entire face but for the sake of this video i will not because i don't want to use up all my sunscreen <laughs> But you can see that one blends completely clear as well. 
I really like it also it has a pleasant smell it has like sunflower extract or something like that and um, it's just great for every day it doesn't leave my skin greasy now the reason why I was holding off on filming this video specifically was for Supergoop because I knew they were gonna be launching in a couple more countries so they have officially launched in Canada which is very exciting I also know that they launched on cult beauty which means the UK can now order it as well so for anyone who has been wanting to try Super Goop. By the way, all the sunscreens that I'm sharing in this video, um, both the chemical and the physical are broad spectrum, so they'll help protect against UVA and UVB rays. So moving on, this is the Tula Skincare Protecting Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel with broad spectrum SPF 30. This is actually a newer product. Um, it's also a chemical sunscreen. And this one kind of comes out in a gel. Tula is also another clean skincare brand, which is great. I'm just gonna apply it over top the other super group one because it doesn't really matter. Now this one definitely gives more of a glow, so I wear it on days where I want that. Like, I wouldn't recommend this to someone with oily skin, is what I'm trying to say, but it blends out so flawlessly on the skin. It has like papaya extracts as well, um, so it has a couple other skincare benefits, and it's very, very smooth on the skin, so. This one is a great option. I'll share it on the back of my hand as well, just so you guys can see what it looks like up close. Now I'm not sure if all SPF does this, but this one specifically mentions that it has protection against the negative effects of pollution and blue light, um, all while giving you the perfect dewy glow. So it has kind of like more protection than just sun care, which is great. Now, unfortunately, Tula doesn't sell outside of the US. I think they used to, so that's kind of a downside, but if you are a part of the US and this seemed appealing to you, then I would check it out. Moving on to a slightly lesser known brand. These people actually reached out to me I thought it was really interesting. This is also a chemical SPF, but it is a gel sunscreen and you can use it both on the face and body as well. This one is by the brand Sunray and they are 100% clean both for your face and for the environment as well. They don't have oxybenzone or any other bad <laughs> ingredients that are in chemical sunscreen sometimes. It's safe for kids, it's safe for all skin types. Um, it has broad, broad spectrum SPF, it's reef friendly, it's vegan, gluten free, paraben free, fragrance free, all the frees basically. Uh, which means it doesn't smell that great, I will be honest. It doesn't smell as great as the other ones, but it also ships worldwide, I think. But this one is the SPF 30 option. I'll show you guys how it comes out. It reminds me a lot of the Unseen sunscreen by Supergoop, but it's a little bit more like a gel, so it's a little thicker. So I'll apply a little bit onto the face so that you guys can see as well. Now, while this isn't really greasy per se, I will say it does leave a bit of a glow on the skin. So if you don't like that with your sunscreens, I would avoid it. And it's quite affordable. I think it's like 25 US dollars and you get a lot of products. Like there's so much in here. So this is the Sunray sunscreen applied all over to the skin. All right, I couldn't finish off chemical sunscreens without sharing a drugstore option. So this is one by Neutrogena, which I was very surprised and pleasantly surprised actually to find out it doesn't have oxybenzone because a lot of drugstore SPFs actually do have that ingredient. It is not a clean sunscreen, unfortunately, from what I know. However, this is it. It's their Bright Boost. Looks like this. It's kind of small, but you really don't need a lot of this. It's a little bit more of a liquidy formula. So I like to just apply it straight like this. So this one has an SPF 30 and it has a little bit of like a sheen to it. It has like very slight pearls, I guess, but it blends into the skin flawlessly as you can see. Like it doesn't really take much, which is nice and it smells really great. But what's great about this is it also has what they call an accelerated brightening complex. So it actually has properties in here that will help to brighten your skin at the same time as protecting it from the sun. So that is always good. We love a two in one. And yeah, I mean, it blends flawlessly into the skin. So that is it for all the chemical sunscreens. We are gonna move into the physical sunscreens now. I just have some wipes over here. This is the Purity Made Simple Wipes by Philosophy. And I'm just gonna wipe this off so that we can start fresh. Just spraying a little bit of a hydrating mist. 
Okay, so skin is nice and refreshed, so we can move on to physical sunscreens. This is the first year in my life that I've been able to find physical sunscreens that don't show up completely white and gross on my skin. Um, I'm honestly so shocked and just so impressed and happy that brands have been noticing that women of color, of course, still want to wear physical sunscreens. And I think if you're a woman of color who has had bad reactions to chemical sunscreens in the past, then I think these will be an amazing option for you guys so let's jump into it so the first one that I have to share with you guys is actually from one of my favorite skincare brands in general this is the Biosense squalene plus zinc sheer mineral sunscreen it looks like this I've shared this on my channel before um, but this is a product they came out with recently and this the active ingredient is zinc oxide 14% um, and it is broad broad spectrum SPF the reason why I like this so much is it is sheer um, it does have a little bit of a tint let me show you guys I'm just gonna apply about that much so as you can see you can see a slight purple tint to this but it is nowhere near any other physical sunscreen I've tried before which is amazing well except for a couple other ones that I'll show you today um, but it just takes a little bit of extra blending to completely get a you know get away from that white cast but it is so soft on the skin i think their addition of squalene which is an amazing oil for the skin really helps to just blend this in like flawlessly so what that's like 40 seconds of blending and as you can see there's hardly a white cast on my skin. And if you guys are familiar with Nima Tang here on YouTube, she is a beautiful South Sudanese YouTuber. Um, she has a much deeper complexion, more rich complexion than I do. And she loves it as well, which says a lot. So I think Biosons really did an amazing job with this SPF. So this physical SPF definitely gets an A plus in my book. Plus Biosense is an extremely clean brand, both for your skin and for the environment. So that makes me really happy to support a brand like that. So if you're looking for a great one, this is an amazing option. Unfortunately, it's not available in Canada slash probably not even anywhere outside of the US. So I'm so sorry about that. So for the physical sunscreens, I am going to just use a makeup wipe to get rid of the layer just so that it doesn't interfere with the rest of the SPFs. Y'all are definitely gonna have to like this video, okay? Because my skin, I hate using wipes on it, but there's no way I'm gonna run to the bathroom, cleanse my skin between every single sunscreen application. But anyways, moving on, this is another one of my top favorite SPFs. Probably this one and the Biosense one is my two top favorites. This is the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide SPF 30. It looks like this. This is also a newer product. Um, now this one actually has a higher zinc oxide percentage. This one is 16.8%. I believe the Biosense one was 14%. So that's always a good thing, but it has like a slight beige tint to it. So I just didn't think that it was gonna work, but I was so shocked when I put it on my skin, y'all. Let me just show you. Okay, I have a good amount on my fingers, as you can see. This one, I feel like almost blends in quicker than the Biosons one, was it, which is amazing. Now it doesn't have the added moisturizing benefit as the um, squalene does in the Biosan sunscreen, but if you lean more towards like the oily skin side, I'd probably recommend the First Aid Beauty one because I feel like it has a little bit of like a mattifying texture to it. But as you can see, this one doesn't leave a white cast as well. It has a slight tint to it because there's no way you're gonna completely get rid of the tint with zinc oxide. It is beautiful on the skin and I feel like the tint inside actually helps to kind of smooth out your skin. I really like it. Like I was so shocked when I tried this out for the first time. And in case you were wondering, First Aid Beauty is also a clean beauty brand, which is great. All right, so this next SPF is by Estee Lauder. It's their Perfectionist Pro multi Defense UV Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 45. <laughs> so this is like an antioxidant SPF, and this one actually had great reviews. This is the only SPF that has both zinc oxide and titanium dioxide that I'm sharing in this video. So it has 6.3% titanium dioxide and 4% zinc oxide. I don't know too much about titanium dioxide. I don't think it's harmful for the skin, but I know that zinc oxide is technically better for the skin. A lot of the times companies will put titanium dioxide um, because it's a little bit better 
for um, women of color or deeper skin tones. It kind of shears out the SPF a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, but it is important to pair it up with zinc oxide so you're making sure you're getting both the UVA and UVB rays. But anyways, let me give this a try. So this one's pretty liquidy. You definitely need to shake it. It has one of those shakers inside. But that's what it looks like. This one definitely has more of a purple tint than the other ones that I'm gonna share today. So that's why I'm kind of, I started with the best and now I'm slowly moving on to the ones I don't love as much. However, this one still works. This one also has the anti-aging benefits with the antioxidants inside. Also, I find it's not as moisturizing as the other SPFs. It kind of like you need to pull and tug on your skin to really get it blended. I feel like this would actually be really good to mix into a moisturizer or something like that but there definitely is a white cast it's not as bad as a lot of other SPFs but she is definitely there and is definitely giving me ghostly vibes which is not very cute so that is the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro. I just thought I'd throw it into this video because I happen to have it um, just in case you guys were interested. My skin is burning. All right, and last but not least, this is also a newer product from Dermalogica. It's their Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30 with broad spectrum. Um, now this one I wanted to include in the video because they specifically marketed this towards people with deeper skin tones. Well, not specifically, they just kind of made it apparent that hey like women of color you could use this too however I don't completely agree I don't think this is one of the best especially the ones that I shared earlier they're much better like the biosance and the first aid beauty but I thought I'd throw it into here anyways because I know a lot of people are a fan of Dermalogica and this is also a clean SPF and they specifically mention that it is um, non nano zinc oxide I know the biosance one is also non nano zinc oxide I'm not too sure about the first aid beauty yeah this one specifically mentions it which which is good so I will show you guys how this one applies this one is probably the thickest SPF of them all as you can see it doesn't really like move but I will apply this and show you guys now I will say this one does blend into the skin really nice like it doesn't have that chalky feeling that sometimes physical SPFs do it just feels like a moisturizer without it feeling greasy so honestly if you spend time blending this one it doesn't really show up it's white cast, which is nice, um, but it's definitely not as sheer as like the Biosans or the First Aid Beauty one. So it's not something that I reach to all the time, but it is still a wonderful option. And in terms of like the greasiness, I actually think that this feels slightly less moisturizing or hydrating than the Biosans one. So if you're kind of comparing the two, the Biosans one with the added squalene definitely is a lot more hydrating, um, which I think it still works for every, you know, skin type. But if you want something that's a little bit, like it dries down a little bit more, then this Dermalogica one is a great option. I don't think I gave you guys a up close, little up close action of it though. So guys, that is all of the sunscreens. Now, if I had to pick a favorite from physical and chemical, my favorite for chemical is definitely the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion. This is just has been my go-to for like two years. I absolutely love it. I just love how easy it is to use. I don't really have to think about it. It smells nice. It feels nice. It blends into the skin well. It doesn't pill up on the skin when I'm putting on primer or foundation over top. So that is definitely a favorite of mine. And then in terms of physical sunscreens, it's actually kind of a tie. Both of these ones, honestly, I love equally. So I just have to throw that out there. Both the Biosense and the First Aid Beauty SPFs, the Zinc Oxide SPFs are both amazing options. Um, so I would recommend these 100%. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it might've seemed all over the place. With these types of videos, I just can't control my thoughts. It's just, I'm, I'm like, oh, I forgot to mention that. Oh, I forgot to mention this. So hopefully you guys were able to follow, but regardless, I will have all the SPFs listed down below and I will make sure to list out the physical separate from the chemical just so that it makes it easier to shop for you guys um, and I'll try to include links for Canada and um, the UK as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up let me know how I did in the comments down below and if you are new to my channel and just happened to stumble upon this video and found it useful I would love for you to subscribe and join the family um, so that you can get some more useful content out of me <laughs> but thank you guys for watching once again 
Make sure to stay protected, find an SPF that works for you, whether that's a physical, a chemical, just make sure it is above SPF 30 and you're good to go. So I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Stay safe, bye.